up to this point, we've talked about areas in the access policy that are somewhat behind the scenes. In this final nugget, we're going to go over a few tips and tricks on how to optimize the use of your policy. Let's first focus on ordered layers and inline layers. Policy layers allow dynamic adaption of security needs, simplicity, and delegation of duties. An inline layer is a sub-policy which is independent of the rest of the rule base. It is comprised of a parent rule which defines certain criteria just like a regular rule. When the rule base reaches a final match on the parent rule, the inline layer within the parent rule is examined. Categorizing rules into inline layers has several benefits. It keeps your rule base clean and tidy. Think about a policy with dozens of rules laid out in a flat list versus a condensed list of only a few parent rules which apply to several children rules within. This way, for instance, you can create different categories which reflect different security functions. Inline layers also allow you to delegate separate parent rules to separate users. This way, you can ensure that only the designated user has visibility to the appropriate rules under their responsibility. One of the most significant differences between the inline rules and flat lists of rules is that inline rules can potentially optimize the processing performance of your rule base, activating only the relevant components for processing when it's called for. For instance, we can activate more processing-heavy components such as application and content awareness only on specific connections, as we can see in this example. Here, simpler connections, which correspond to lower OSI layers, do not activate application and content awareness components, which are only activated in these inline rules. This saves us the overhead of executing components that are unnecessary for processing simpler connections. To set up an inline layer in the action column of the relevant rule, right-click the cell and choose Inline Layer. Next, we have the ordered layers, which allow a more global approach to managing your policy. For example, each department of the organization, such as R&D, Sales, Finance, and Support, can have a dedicated policy. Unlike inline layers, the ordered layers execute the policy in parallel. In case an ordered layer has reached a final match on a block rule, that is, drop or reject, the connection is blocked. When all ordered layers have reached a final match on accept actions, we accept the connection. To set up an ordered layer, right-click on Policy and choose Edit Policy. Then, click the plus sign. Our final tip for you in this nugget involves the order of your rules within the policy. The rule of thumb is that the simplest rules which typically relate to lower OSI layers should be placed as highest as possible in the policy. That way, the gateway is more efficient in excluding connections faster, saving it the need to process the many other rules in the policy. So for instance, in this example, we've blocked early on any connections from sources that are known to be malicious. On the flip side, rules that require deeper inspection such as application or content awareness, should be placed on the lower end of your policy. This is because the way possible match works. Rules that require deeper inspection, meaning they need additional information in order to process the connection, will stay in the state of possible match until they receive this information. This means that we won't be able to get an early final match on simpler connections if they are placed below such processing heavy rules. For example, in this case, Rule 2 requires deeper inspection via the application component due to its examination of a Facebook connection. If our policy only had this rule, then 100% of the company's traffic would require the application component to process. But since in this company's case, this rule covers 80% of the company's hosts, only 20% of the company traffic would require application processing. This means that by having this rule higher in your policy, we exclude 80% of the connections from being processed by an irrelevant component. This also means that these connections will reach an early final match during the handshake process. In summary, you should use layers to optimize your policy and its processing 
and to allow delegation of management per layer. And you should make sure that the simplest rules are the topmost in your policy to ensure maximum efficiency.